Hosanna in the borderline cinder block warehouse, as much applause as is possible to collapse inside an ambulance now that conveys the intravenous bags and bottle holder, 27 stones from here to the Idlewild, to the gun fields. It's a place you find automaton nurses who labor in green-gray subterfuge in all over stripes. A round of punches to the lower jaw for my part in the main, so I get it now. I'm the chosen one for reassignment, face so altered as to beguile. This is enemy convenient, a purview suitable to very new cosmetic methods. Question is, the admin, diazepam, and other hypodermics, were they counteractive? or now consistent with enough cases as to compel canvassers to anticipate first signs of panic, sleepwalker antecedents, tray tables in upright position, crushed ice out of open mouth, air-conditioned ward redolent of superstores and tattoo shops, or was it morphine sulfate and protocols applied to disable the congenital twins? Here's the world news. To junk science prizes, wax candy lips in tone of flawless, if always accented sentence. The kind of talking from another world where my mother was Marlo Thomas and there were rival techniques contributed to the celebrity of my seven-sided disappearance. Or was that all my enuresis when I doubled in size as from her pocketbook, adorable but already diminishing? I had the opportunity to live in Mexico City in the 1990s, and many of the poems in previous books uh, have a direct relationship, a kind of uh, engagement with the dreamscape of a particular artwork. And this is loosely uh, compelled by iconography or images in the work of a Mexican painter by the name of Roberto Turmbo. Anvil and Bellows. In all manners, Mr. Tourniquet, in toned attention, turning to my treatment, many times ignored, many times identical to the carbonate castle, many times in tribal paint, unbridled scuttlebutt stargaze, releasing children, palsied and germinal, burst. Surface made of metal, Mrs. Skeleton Key, it's a cruel copy, tantamount to the emotion precinct, tantamount to the other story imprint, to the opposite self complete with pigment, actually. Archaic catalog of chattel and usufruct, whose characters include Professor Blind Eye Turning, Sister Bulletproof Jacket, Reverend Dead Man's Gully, Mr. Secretary General of the Global Farm Security. Birth lines intersect here with the turnstile attorneys whose testimony pictograms a timetable into gossip and gainsay the evidence of animals so menaced by what surrounds these laws with mindful hand and fodder as to inaugurate the weightless stranger brothering this imbursement with alleged methods that stain and stoke, that evermore extricate our ancestors from wonders one and all the end. Then the final credits run with the life forms as we stray either from intimacy or the accident part emerges between miniature movement and application. Austerity and surface, superposition and plane, O river, palms and clock face, stairwell and flagstone, aspect of a method verily over landscape with gazebo adding Bethlehem rose or clump green, wax warm layers of synthetic skin, meat muddled anniversary, involuntary bromide book bound to inlay the marriage of word paste and tooth pulled domina, this minion font and frontage over putty in pages reproduced by lower quadrant anvil, vertical bellows and antelope and upward red, quick, quick, the syllables to stagger the enumerated forethought as when cobalt woodwinds issue silver pearls. This is entitled Two Guardians. They're calling for me. <laughs> My words were sent underground to where the toggle switch detonates that was the glare our voices were avoiding. There was something also broken about the obedience of the retainer. 
The arcades weren't semaphores just because the arrows leading there facilitated those of us in line as though reliant on east or west quadrants. The ticket master was prone to allied requests from the travelers. The sliding door sounded a fanfare for the common man, get faster as thought or mind the gaps. What I infer can never altogether establish a space adequate to the body count. The platform motivates two guardians who were instructed in safekeeping to usher me from harm's way, but my standpoint so recedes from this tableau as to acknowledge a footprint perspective. Translucent envelopes inside remaindered by the riptide of such tunnel vision as to warrant arrest. Why I was sent to the netherworld inflicted with no wound, Someone lets fall a pair of Ziplocs containing the pixie sticks of this conspiracy. What I had to say was sent, I mentioned this before, I think, underground switch and toggle intended to ignite what I could never bring myself to mean. Where the voices were avoiding me, hands outstretched a quarter day to hold back the beam, was there something broken? I weather complaint. I rally. Nightshade Camouflage. Time to galvanize in measurements of emergency your paperwork now with aptitude. Hidden universal law you let someone else insinuate, pretend to so dissolve as to possess a small equivalence, maybe a word for lunar quadrant, maybe some other upsurge, coastal strip for falling shell each hour on the hour that only those who bolster by and by the firmament, the wane, the cleaver, armaments in a position I associates out of ether for days in camouflage for a throng whose fatality you can pinpoint given barley, nightshade, citrus, fig, branching cables irradiate the unsettled residents in grove, in low-lying brush, in timberland, and under siege, who knows how longer arable. Uh, this, I teach a course on uh, Black Arts West, um, use a very wonderful book by Daniel Widener, and uh, also had the opportunity to contribute something to a catalog of, a, of an excellent exhibition that was called Now Dig This, Black Arts, Los Angeles, 1960 to 1980. And one of the great works of the 1970s from Los Angeles was by the artist Betty Sayre, and this is loosely in reference to her work, uh, The Liberation of Aunt Jemima of 1972, uh, an explosive and, and uh, uh, inc incredibly critical work. Freestanding form. Clock tower directive with a stopwatch. Oath moan status of a kitchen ladle brandished in one hand, grenade and palm grip of the other. Cushion combat thumb and wrist, homeland thrown, Enthralled of markets imploded also, but declassified fears my heroic former name for someone else. In household wanted list, discarded figure where it fits to line the inside of a coral box, enhanced freestanding form, in solid gold demands of your small slivers of it disproportionate to Washington. I promised Los Angeles, hence freeway. As much velocity as there are seasons of reward and goodwill, as little comfort eligible as when the contours elevate and cradle, as many loyalties connect to the pivot and pulses, or as little light on two nations as meant all times to be failing or as yet to succeed. Practical joke played as early as the epigrams and flags for the priorities of leaving hoisted as late as the death of a mood no one can really tolerate. The pillar for posting the crocodiles each cycle to cycle in drift and drag for historic view. Claiming part and parcel at large in unflinching, unflinching sweep, the dinosaurs and cosmonauts, the glass refracted flash of exceptions, chalk, insoluble flesh, flex, or fidget, the plan anathema pliant volume. Upended enclave of obtuse enumeration or probable dissolve of the noblesse oblige complicit in recline and ashes dormant. Combustible unknown to certify provision. Ah, my refundable appeal to policy on the ground set forth administrations consistent with the standards of all these immunities, but evocative 
of language that, having so made a pact with the night examples as to indwell in daylight haunting, emerges in accounts undaunted lines, venturing to outdistance descriptions if they are to comprise with the evidence. It's no endeavor confirming the laws of physics, merge lanes that double for hunger and time, memorial to deter the varieties abridged. Film Noir Telescope. When in Besame Mucho, Nat King Cole intones all La Brea Boulevards again a buoyancy of rye, dry vermouth, dash of bitters as when the congregated swayed at Swanee Inn. Body weight to lunge, a slow one inhaled in common hold como si fuera esta noche, last chance departure to tumble this ultima vez when Alvaro can idolize in soledad her, her downcast blush perfected ice clink, accentuated traces of backstep pause, arrested flesh touching fabric with a hand insinuated flush left on waist so pressed against as to blazon into tremulo of lower back and clavicle by symbol scratch to dance and Mai Tai cocktails. Slurring to strings, resistant but for the pursuit of Los Angeles, if still distracted after all the invective, lime juice jigger of rum in rain time danson the, the month of March, sticks and stones, glass sliver cliff at road's end, whatever else in camera lenta surrenders claim to conclusion in radio words of uplift, a once and future sermon by Sister Amy on the Sunshine Hour. And on the subject of my vanishing, let me add that by rack and narcotics held hostage in a shack at Aguapireta from the desert, I was spared if God is my witness, the lasting brunt of so much banter as volleyed over highballs at Don the Beachcomber. Habitues alleging in the end she was buried with a telephone beside her inside the coffin by a couple debating over supper somewhere, was it lentils in Granada or frog legs in Uruguay, and I swear if you don't put that thing away, I'm leaving. Again, the aching pitch, it's Consuelo Velasquez, her lyrics I mean, from a window east side of McCadden, as though what don't get compressed on this emulsion sea, every picture in your skull elapsed tonight, every motion prone to give it all away, each day, from any switchboard in efforts to leave no trace, instead from a telephoto lens, Point being, mañana, them feds is going to seize his mansion on Muirfield, claim he played every beer joint from Tijuana to Bakersfield. Bah, senor, delinquent taxes back at you from Havana. If it isn't the Bureau of Internal Revenue bent on taking the deed to Hancock Park and repossessing the Fleetwood. Which happened to Nat King Cole. So this poem, this very brief poem, is both an a tribute to the late, great Michael Jackson, but perhaps also my attempt to end the argument between which is a, a superior album, Off the Wall of 1979 or Thriller of 1983, and I hope you are with me in it's, in it's the former. Moonwalk. Public color to figure a dead man's many faces in some ensuing 911 imparted syllables for even broadcasts spent in concert with the coroner's force don't stop so long as song burns the disco out I exhale after legend or to kin again i've had the opportunity to work with artists and living artists provide one the opportunity to um, have conversations with them about the work that, uh, um, that one is compelled to write about. And in this case, it's, this is the California photographer, Connie Samaras, who also teaches at the University of California at Irvine, and a series that she entitled The Edge of Twilight. And what Connie was able to do was to gain trust into a feminist separatist community that lives in trailer parks somewhere in the desert of Southern California, um, whose exact location is unknown. And maybe I will read the epigraphs because it led me to some research, of course, on, on lesbian feminist separatism, and I found this wonderful essay by Karen Mudd entitled Lesbian Separatism, History and Theory, 
which has this marvelous quote. She's reporting on a conference that took place. She talked about expansion and revealed her fantasy of all women having a separate geographical space, not on Earth. She said that she thought of man as a separate species and felt more aligned with cats and trees. I'd rather be in their group, she said, meaning that of cats and trees. And in point of fact, with this, the way the photographs are, are composed is meant to look as though they belong to outer space or kind of some kind of speculative fiction. And uh, the edge of twilight, twilight was also the, the name used for lesbians in the 1950s, and so it's reappropriated by, by Connie Samaras. And all this is to say that I am imagining my ideal mothers. The transport hours. Held fast to the evolving horizon whose upsurge encircled sooner than it was possible to ascertain before it had hovered there, a touch tone away, act now. For there, even in that brief appraisal, in agreement with the roadway, with the motor home and trailer park, was conveyed the promise of serenity and freedom, a completion. But there had come by then a tremor in time between always striving to assert, oppose, not this year, maybe next, to contend the proximity of arriving, if in some way no longer here in flight, still from that expanding sphere, departure in the, all the half-tones of a secret, wish for some vicinity in a middle landscape not of this earth, an ether not especially of our species, desert wakefulness adrift in the leave-taking, double wide in the nights debatable and such vinyl glow advancing, detached from the planetary management, this substitute revenue for all the proper names. So instated was travel in the continuum, flash expanse as though by black light gels dead end the street for the only transport hour available in the elastic state of imperfect clarity, center point of the story, its own eviction, this time certainly, this time like the last demanded to be a part, drawn on such empowerment and skill as to guarantee survival, my body now a chaos of excitement, a heat warp over all the improbable minutes in whose method now to be with the women, I assume with the powers of mutation, the aptitude of animals I duplicate, I meld with the binary numbers. I so cooperate with the machines as to make myself invisible. I sanction the authority of gravel. I indent where the layers ebb. I cross beam even as I contradict the patterns assigned to the surface of the land in lesser accidents of stone and sky. I merge the four directions into a solitary segment. I engineer the semblance of a habitat into the subject of hydration. I review the foregoing. I account for the universal crowd in the long withdrawal. I doubt the imperative, the end effect, there being some confusion as to whether partition was in reference to a present tense or somewhere in the distant shimmer system. Backflash measured by the alliance of my mothers in triplicate under the vapor light flame story of the urban commons, inheritance of the dwelling notes, a passing through of sidelight for mercury and retrograde, semi-solids for the global south, cathode haze over the settlement, means tantamount to the outcome such looming as for the pursuit to be ongoing, evanescent, committed nowhere but to the temperature perspective. 6 August 1945. 6 August, 2015, Tower. Solid block of fracture surge that in a past partial view would attain such beholding. Cascade that makes red the horizon to allow as though appearing at a single point. Lines to elongate the knell of proximity, this encompassing source to the X degree. Siren gnaw a human pace, expanding long syllabic burn and burrowed billow crosshatch. Invasive sight line drawn from eyes of the spellbound commissioner statistic. Image ever present when ready to vanish in each expiring particle of stranger blood.
Let this be in frequencies of black rain adjusting its amplitudes to a figure igneous. Person intended in the gone so acknowledged is for the shape we sing and eviscerate. Pink constituent of matter from the underside in mosses prosper for all the missing. In violet place to hold the light a thousand suns in bronze script of a thousand one. Under action as fire with the power of the universe, reversing it a fraction of time. I think I will read... something which I won't identify at first, uh, but then we'll read its translation or its original, and then you will have recognized. Two of them, they're very short. Modernismo. El soñador entra en el cuarto llevando una prenda en tela roja. En sus pies hay zapatos como magia que lo llevarán aquí y allá ha mojado su pluma en tinta mágica y separado lo ordinario del cuarto. Nosotros también escuchamos el carrillón de la medianoche y nos es esforzamos para esclarar nuestra cuchara de plata como la medianoche revuelve una taza de café, así celebramos el modernismo. Una hoja inquieta modifica este poema. That was translated by my friend and co-editor of Mandorla for many years, uh, Gabriel Bernal Granados. Modernism, Barbara Guest. The dreamer enters the room wearing a garment of red cloth. On his feet are shoes of magic. They will carry him hither and yon. He has dipped his pen into magic ink and cleared the ordinary from the room. We too have heard the midnight chime and reached for our silver spoon. As midnight stirs a coffee cup, we praise modernism. Restless leaf modifies his poem. These last, uh, this is another one of these translations and then one of my own, all of which are kind of conversations with the dead that are also a way of thinking what brings newness into the world. Olvidé recordar. Y una noche, al oler en mi zapato tenis, no estuve ya más influida por crímenes invisibles, ni disponible para sueños eróticos, ni revelaciones de la carne demacrada. Estaba desolada en, a la memoria aún no nata, al estado de mí misma dentro de la inhalación del olor propio de los sentimientos, por lo que ya no contradigo. Ya no necesito olvidar para recordar, reconocer el latido del corazón. Jane Cortez, I forgot to remember. And one night in my tennis shoe smell, I was no longer influenced by invisible crimes, no longer available to erotic dreams and revelations of emaciated flesh. I was desolate to memory not yet born to the state of myself inside the whiff of smell intimate to feelings I no longer contradict, no longer need to forget, to remember, to recognize, heartbeat. And I think I'll end with this poem, which, whose title is Kill Time Objective. And I had already titled it uh, as I was flying back and forth from Houston to Buffalo, New York, insofar as my father was dying and finally passed. But then I did realize that so much of the imagery did come from a kind of sense of myself through dream work and the place that was Los Angeles, uh, in which there is a terrific photograph, a Kodachrome slide of my parents at Griffith Park, behind which you can see the Hollywood sign. And I think that this poem conveys my fear and fascination as well with 
instruction of which we are all a part of in this room. Kill time objective. For the sake of my acoustic self, I lead out of danger an anonymous pack from the budding entrapment secured by militia. First prompted was the mouth emission. Other species techniques I thought would never keep keep for me the village immolation, even now a third person plural, to ask in a chorus concerned with all the unsanctioned disclosures we had expressed in such adversaries our interest. We had divined from them a quantum of intelligence. Soon adjusted of my amplitude, I escape and striving escalate the only barrier dividing inside from out, thick steel at first translucent, gleaming now but with a weathered crackle glaze suspending the ability to recognize a likeness, and I panic, overjoyed or appalled. Anyway, the bass line exhausting the tonal pitch insofar as they see not my face, no matter how close they look, first and foremost classified, chiefly management, mostly disapproving. Soon the phonic constellation after hours of the data harvest, room tone, proximity to source, boredom of the solar system, estuary trespass. Soon as maps were the mirror sequence by leaning on the present, complicity was to the frenzy of flesh, muddle of tongues, a ransom note. But for the sake of fighting for breath, already the instrument for transposition in a parasitic image finally proper to this place, I'm the encryption, I'm the statistic, no longer bristling in the heroics of metaphor, I'm equipped with the artillery that enables me now to bullet op an opening for everyone's deliverance. But for the scene change, lodgings very disinfected, new cause for residing in that I trace it back to the assignment room and retrieve because arson, what I misplaced anew and under observation now, Two performers, licentious but so proving of the spinal cord perspective as to marvel at the sheer outrage and wonder of the surgical incision. But for the tangled purpose of the anatomy we take to name eviscerate. But for the conference hour this week with my parishioners in exchange for the motion in multiple layers, overcoat, many trousers, uniform, in the process also of my ballooning self into unprecedented scales of subjection. As soon as I recite the lines that tell the world of the authority to petrify, to touch and be tutored or otherwise curb, but never entirely embraced, no matter the many hours we waited on Ledgewood to trust the day. But for the amassing body attributes of my contempt and retribution, but for the ever more audacious interference at the level of my molecular remembrance, but for the album, now children, please open to lesson 32. Thank you.